thank you all for coming to see me. I'm assuming uh, I was the, the one you came for. Um, uh, I'm assuming there's a lot of you don't know who I am. Um, uh, I wanted just to put it up because, you know, it, it felt good. To, that's my most serious picture I have. Anyway, this is about all you need to know. Um, I grew up in the north of England. Um, I went to Books, a uh, horrible place called High Wycombe, for three years. A uh, slightly nicer place called Mother for um, eight years. And then I set up an agency called Creature in 2011. Um, it's an advertising agency. Uh, I work in advertising. I'm uh, the CCO, uh, Chief Creative Officer, over there. Uh, I say almost all you need to know. Um, this is, is important that you know this as well. This is my dad. Uh, this is my mum. That's me. Um, uh, and uh, it's important that you know, he, he, this is what they did. This were their jobs. They were from science backgrounds. Why, why is that important? Well, um, if you um, go into my <laughs> little baby brain, um, that, that you will see that there is no uh, advertising gene in there. Um, why, why is that important, you ask? Well, it's kind of a thing that I feel quite strongly about, is, is that, um, like... <laughs> now, I appreciate that, that you're not all in advertising um, and that you work across different creative um, industries. If you work in an industry of which ideas are king, right, where you, you know, how, you're, you're conceptual rather than you craft, rather than you draw or paint or sing or play instruments, it is my belief that you are not born to be like that. You, you develop and you can grow and you, you, you become that. Um, uh, oh, God. I'm just realising that this copy of the presentation, Charlotte, uh, Eva, um, is definitely the wrong one. But anyway, it doesn't matter. because It doesn't matter. We will carry on. But it's fine. Uh, the, the product, one of the side effects of... Um, of being, uh, uh, not having this gene built into you and this kind of natural skill is a thing called imposter syndrome. Um, some of you may know this, but it's something that a lot of you will, you know, will, will, will suffer from it. Most of you will suffer from it at every level, placement level, uh, you know, when you're a creative, when you're a senior creative, a creative director. It's this feeling that you, uh, you know, you're a fraud. You know, you don't, you, you actually, and, and, it's, and, and we'll all get it at some point, in, unless you're hugely egotistical or Donald Trump. Um, now, <laughs> Now, um, uh, blah, 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 where, where are we? So, so it is of my belief that, um, that people who've you know, become, got into good positions in, in, in the creative industry uh, are all imposters in one way or another. I've I got sort of proof of this, it's not just me. This is a picture I took in, in 2005 in Mother. Um, and, and all of these idiots, brilliant idiots, um, are, are kind of actually somewhat significant now. Um, on the left here, this is my creative partner, Ben, another um, serious looking picture, uh, who works at Creature. Uh, this is Dave Kabultz, who's now the, um, the CCO over at uh, Drover 5. Down at the bottom here, this guy here is Lolly Thompson, and this is his partner, Rob, who are presidents, presidents of McCann uh, in London. Uh, and Rob is a um, uh, mother as well. Uh, just above that is Caroline, uh, the wonderful Caroline Pay, who has just gone over to Headspace in LA, was at Grey and, uh, and what before that. And on the right is Sam, who um, is now over at Uncommon um, Creative Studio, along uh, with that's Joe, Joe D'Souza, who is a mother as well. And then this guy here is Leon, who's over in Australia, who set up a place called Robin, Le Robin and Leon. There was lots of others. There was Jan and Luke, and there was Anna and Metty, who are now creative directors there, and there was Darren, who's at VCGP, and then there was Potsy and Jexy, and Al at Sunshine, and Ben at Havas, and Ian up at Widens, who was in Poke at the time, but, you know, anyway, he was upstairs. Anyway, the point is, all of them are imposters. The whole lot of them. You know I mean? Well, yeah, I say that. There's, there's, they've obviously kind of got talent, and you know, and Dave's a great writer, and you know, uh, Lolly's a great uh, designer. But the reality is, uh, it's of my opinion that they've kind of developed, they've, they've, they've learned, they've, they've crafted, and I think we can all do the same. We can all do the same one way or another. They do have three things, three things, uh, and uh, and th these three things are what I believe in sort of 16 years of doing this that I believe are the three component parts, the three tenets of great. Creative conceptual people. Uh, one, personality. Um, two, uh, tenacity. So, you know, be nice, be good. Uh, if you're Ben, my partner, then you would just go, don't be a dickhead. Um, tenacity, work hard, graft, um, you know, be like Ken Loach. Um, and then finally, initiative. An initiative is the sort of the, the thing I've never been able to quite define. It's the, it's the X factor, it's the bit that um, 
uh, uh, it sort of carries you through. It, it take, takes your personality and tenacity and, and means that you get that one step ahead of, of, of the rest of the gang. Um, it, it's difficult to define it. Um, there's, there's literally four definitions of it in, in the dictionary. I quite like that one in the middle, um, uh, which uh, in particular these synonyms, plan, scheme, strategy, right? Um, and this is, why, um, my, this is why this is my talk. It's called Getting Away With It. Um, <laughs> that was like a... A lot, there's a lot of slides just to get to the title of the talk, and we are five minutes in. So <laughs> let's get on with this. So, eight tips for all creative uh, imposters. Um, are you ready? Here we go. Um, this is uh, me and Ben um, back when we were students. Um, this is our portfolio just here. Um, uh, the first thing that we learned very quickly and, um, uh, is when you want to get into advertising, you, go, you do um, book crits. I'm sure the same with other kind of creative industries. You go out and you meet people and you do stuff. And the great thing is you take your dreadful, awful, shitty book in and these creatives give you ideas. They say, no, nah, no, nah, don't do that, do this. And you just write them down. Uh, <laughs> and then you go away and then you do them up and then you bring them back. And they forget that they had that idea and then they go, yeah, that's brilliant. Um, so the first, first tip is this, is steal. <laughs> um, um, so there is, uh, th th this was a video, it doesn't work, it doesn't matter, it doesn't work. Should, we, should we make it work, we can make it work, is there a way of making it work, can I go back to, it doesn't matter, Charlotte's here, no, it's like, yeah. should we do something, like, it, um, you know, it, it's the, if it was the, not the PDF one, anyway, let me tell you a little bit about this, so, the, um, our first thing we ever did at Mother, we, we were briefed on, a, on, a, on an Observer campaign, it was for drugs and sport, there was an article that, um, uh, yeah, that'll probably do the job, won't it? Ah, oh, look at that, look at all the beautiful type. There we are. All that rock welding. My, uh, my designer Michael is in today and he's going to hate these slides. Oh, hang on a second, it started. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Let me turn it up. Is it turned up? You're not going to be able to hear this. Anyway, it's, it's all going well. Anyway, my phone's gone off. Um, where are we? So uh, we were briefed on uh, drugs and sport. Uh, it was for the Observer and it was, uh, and we had this idea, this dreadful idea where we brought along the American flag made up of pills. You know, and it was like, oh, it was really obvious and really expected response. Um, Jan and Luke, our creative directors at the time, who were in that pitch before, the, the, in, the, in the review they went, oh, what about like if you, like, what if you did like the 100 metres, but like did it in five seconds? And we went, that's great. And we were the first team to go away and just write that up and bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's this easy, right? It's this easy. Uh, uh, and, and, and we brought it back to them and they went, whoa, that's great. And we went, yeah, it was your idea, but it's mine. You're not going to be able to hear this, but you'll get the gist anyway. And they're off! It's a good start. The Americans out of his blocks the quickest. Big chase down by us, the end of the race. Drugs in Sport, an investigation in the Observer Sport Monthly this Sunday with the Observer. <laughs> um, it was ten, ten, ten seconds long. It was pro probably still to this day one of the best things we've done, and it was the first thing we've done. Yeah, God help us. Um, so um, it's, not, it's not just me who believes this. You know, big, important people believe this as well. Jim Jarmusch, nothing is original, steal from anywhere that resonates with inspiration or fuels imagination. He basically stole that quote from Jean-Luc Godard, who says it's not where you take things from, it's where you take them to. It, there's, there's truth in this, right? Like, just um, uh, go out, grab things, take them, and make them your own. OK, uh, which takes us nicely on to don't care too much, uh, which is my second big tip. Um, uh, again, um, a few months on now, after making that, we were doing a, a pitch for Boddington's. And uh, I, I, can't, I couldn't find the specific piece of paper that we took into the review, but it was something like this. It was something like this. Anyway, um, the response we got from that was Bob Savile, our creative director, rang me up that evening and said um, this. If I was Tim Delaney, I'd have kicked you out by now. I didn't have the heart to ask him who Tim Delaney was. But anyway, <laughs> seemingly it was a hard-ass guy that he used to work for. Um, so what happened on the basis of this is Ben and I were sitting there in Mother on St. John Street at the time, uh, downstairs, like desperately, desperately, desperately trying to come up with ideas. And it was, ah, oh, nothing, 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 nothing was coming. And um, this guy, funnily enough, in the picture as well, Danny Bush, he was an account man, or a mother, as they call them. Um, he came down, he looked at us, and he went, he went what's, what's, what's wrong with you guys? That's kind of how he spoke. What's wrong with you guys? And we went, oh, Danny, we've been, oh, we're going to get kicked out. We haven't got any ideas. We, oh, we need to come back with some tomorrow. And he goes, ah, he goes, we're going to, oh, our, our life has ended. And he went, oh, oh chill the fuck out. It's not like we're making parachutes. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Um, <laughs> um, these people make parachutes, right? Um, and, uh, like, and, and genuinely, there's lives aren't on the line, right? You know what I mean? Again, I, I, um, okay, so we work in, in different design disciplines, different creative industries. We're not saving the world. The Glimpse guys are. Uh, you know what I mean? Sorry, I didn't realise you were here. You literally are saving lives. <laughs> So do do that. Don't don't do this. But anyway, um, and we, this is what we're doing. We're just trying to beat Jesus. These were the famous ones, and they're just bloody pints with cream on the top. Do you know what I mean? So, anyway, um, a quote. I'm just going to keep nicking quotes because I'm going to take on the steel advice. There you go, Albert Einstein quote. Uh, tip three: uh, cock up quickly. Uh, so again, fast forward a little bit. Um, we the next thing we did was another observer campaign, uh, and we made an ad which was like this. Harmar Superstar, if you wish. That's who that was. Harmar Superstar. <laughs> tattoo? Remember tattoo? Anyway, it's, 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 this is wasting a whole minute of my talk. Um, the Observer Music Monthly, from ABBA to Zappa. So we made this that, Sunday. and we, we, we and we won lots of awards, and we were like, we were like, fuck yeah, we were like these guys. <laughs> we were like on a high, man. And um, that cockiness, that cocksureness, it ended up making, we made this as an ad that we made the following year, because the campaign did really well, people liked it. And we made this ad for the Libertines. The reason I highlight this little bit here is a very, very, very quick story. Um, we thought we'd be clever to, um, to put, this is the sun, to rather than call it the sun, to change the S to a C, to call it the, the C-U-N. Um, we, that ad very, very nearly ran. It very nearly went out and the client rang me, rang me, I, I, this is the thing that they rang the crowds, and said, Stu, we've just been thinking about what else begins with cun other than cunnilingus. And, <laughs> And, and what the fuck? And, um, <laughs> and um, <laughs> hey, we laugh now. <laughs> oh, we laugh now. Uh, we, we, we basically, we, we got so close to being fired that I can't tell you. We, we somehow sort of clung on just few, and it was honestly, it was the, the stupidest, stupidest thing we did. And we, we thought we were smarter than other people, and we're not. But, you know, hey, Here's the thing, right? If you, this is one of my favourite quotes of all time. It, it's so true. I mean, like the, the sooner that you cock up, the sooner that you get on, the sooner you embrace mistakes, the, 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 the better you will get, I promise. Tip four. There's eight of these, so we're halfway through. This is good. We're all right. Um, accept you don't know what you're doing. Um, no, it's, it, honestly, it's, it's, it's another truth that if you think you've got all the answers, you think you're that, you know what I mean, like, you know, forget it. You know I mean? You are not going to get anywhere. There's a great, there's this beautiful like, little um, uh, uh, story. Um, Laurence Olivier is, uh, um, uh, is just finished this incredible performance of Othello. Um, ignore the whole fact he had the blackface for it. Anyway, he, it's, it's an incredible performance of Othello. And, um, uh, and uh, Maggie Smith goes into his room, who is playing opposite him, and he finds um, Laurence Olivier kind of like crying against the wall. And she's like, what's the matter? You are wonderful. And he said, I know, I don't know how I did it. <laughs> and like, there is a sort of a joy in, um, in, in this. There really, really, really is. Um, William Goldman, one of the greatest screenwriters, um, uh, if, you, if you want to read a brilliant book, read his um, four screenplays. Uh, he says, nobody knows anything in the, in the movie industry. Nobody knows anything, which is somewhat proven by that, but hey, that's a separate thing. Um, but this, this not knowing anything and acknowledging that we haven't got all the answers meant that we actually went on and, and, and some of our better work and whether I'm, I'm moving on from other to create creature in a minute uh, was Pot Noodle Musical. We took a music call to, to Edinburgh after doing a bunch of TV ads for Pot Noodle. We didn't know how to write a musical. We didn't know what we were doing, but actually you sort of embrace that, accept you're not sure, and then just get on with it. Or a, um, a comic book series with, for, for, for Time Out. Um, which speaks to tip five, which is get on with it. Um, I, granted, this is perhaps a, a, a kind of a one that you'll hear a lot of, but it, it, it's, it, for me, it's, uh, 
it's probably the simplest, the simplest thing I can tell you. It, you know, I speak to a lot of students, and this one is quite student-focused, so forgive me as I patronise some of you. But um, basically, um, we set Creature up in... Uh, I say set up. It's a longer story. Ask me some other time. But basically, we, I was 30, he was 29, he was 30-odd, and he was 31 or something. And we, we didn't know. We hadn't a clue, man. Do you know what I mean? But we were just given this opportunity, and we thought, yeah, let's give it a shot. Um, and, and goodness knows we made a lot of mistakes and goodness knows we cocked up quickly and you know, goodness knows we were that. But it, it speaks somewhat to what, what I think is um, uh, most creative careers. Uh, so this is one where I embrace all of you <laughs> rather than just a few advertisers that, that care about it. Um, most creative careers, you will, you will get to that point, right? We all know it, where you're banging your head against a brick wall. That's what that is, by the way. I, goog I googled banging a head against a brick wall and found that and it was perfect. <laughs> Uh, where you're banging your head against a brick wall, right? And, 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 and all I can say is that um, some of us will have that tenacity to kind of keep going and, and get, eventually you get through that brick wall. And then there's another brick wall. Uh, and then you do the same again and there's another one. And then you'll note that the only difference is that there's a, the, the, the space between them just gets a little bit bigger. It just gets a little bit bigger. <laughs> Uh, and this is what I call the developing yourself space <laughs> until you reach the next brick wall. Um, and, and, and forgive me, this is now aimed at students, not the people who are literally the same age and experience as me. But uh, this is you, student. This is me. And this is John Hegarty, right? <laughs> Those who don't know who John Hegarty is, he's like a 90 odd year old kind of advertising creative who's amazing in set of BBH. He's not, he's like 60 odd. Um, uh, th this, uh, so. Honestly, it's that simple. It's not, it's, it's not that difficult. You know I mean, we've not remember, I wasn't born with an advertising gene or any of those other imposters at the start. We've just gone through more walls, that's all. Uh, okay, where are we, where are we? Hang on a second. Uh, there you are. Uh, that's basically, he says it best. Um, uh, that's, that's a note to myself. Uh, yeah, so um, uh, just, you know, remember, you know, anyway, anyway, he's, it was a good, it's a good quote still, you know, I mean, he's made a, he's made a couple of good films still, do you know what I mean? Um, uh, tip six, um, uh, stop thinking. Uh, this is what you get when you Google thinking. Uh, this is the, my most facetious uh, tip. <laughs> so... Uh, it's, it's provocative, guys, you know what I mean? It's like, anyway, the, um, the mind mazes and, you know, like, banging your head against brick walls and, and, like, and like, ah, and taking you back to that sort of, you know, Boddington's kind of, like, bang it, ah, not, not too um, the, uh, This is, uh, granted, it's Damien Hirst, and granted he's an artist, so I'm breaking my rule a little bit, but, you know, I, I, I quite like the quote. I prefer this quote. This is, like, my favourite, one of my favourite. It's like, um, and, and, and... <laughs> like that that hang for a little bit because it's that good it's that good but you know and and it's so true right it's so true this is my favorite picture of all time by tony ray jones um it's just everything is beautiful but it's just a captured moment right he's gone up and he's found it and he's seen it and it's great Stuart franklin um you know i mean again you know just just being there and seeing it and selling it from martin parr and obviously and um and uh, uh elliot Irwin. um yeah, you, you, you get out, stand in front of more interesting stuff. Um, you know, don't get yourself so wound up about trying to like think your way to being you know creative because sometimes it can be the most debilitating thing. A creature on our wall in our office um, uh, is written writ large. We had it took us about five years to get to realise that this is what we do. Um, but when we did, it was like ah oh, yes, that's what we do. We you know, I mean, we, we are at home, we, we believe in intelligent misbehaviour. And, um, uh, and actually, that's a thing that we try and instil in everyone that works with us, um, because we think like good stuff comes from it. Uh, two left, and about two minutes to go, so I'm going to do these very quickly. Uh, so be the least smartest person in the room. Um, uh, when we set a creature up, when, when, uh, as we've developed, we've realised that the tip is, and if anyone ever wants to set up an agency, Honestly, just, just hire smarter people than you. It's that simple, honestly. It's nothing more... Actually, again, this guy who supposedly is famous uh, said that. Um, and I think it doesn't just go for the, the people that you hire, but it's the people that you, you work with. You know what I mean? We just have the ideas, you know what I mean? And then um, we go out to 
genuine sort of brilliant uh, uh, practitioners and creatives and, and, and directors and whatnot. And they help us do things like we, we did a whole immersive theatre piece down in the Waterloo Vaults uh, with Enfant Terrible. We did a piece with um, uh, the, the Bompers and Par, you know those guys? Uh, I was going to say nice things about him, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, uh, they, uh, we did this with them. We, um, we worked with Passion Pictures to do, you know, beautiful animation that wins us lots of awards. And we do these um, uh, ridiculous green party political broadcasts. I was going to show this, but it's like three and a half minutes long, so obviously I'm not. Or, you know, illustrators. So accept the fact that you are not the smartest person and that there are smarter people out there, and then you will fly, I promise. Last one, last one, I promise. Give your ideas away. Okay, so we were told this when we were at college, and we hadn't a clue what the guy was talking about. We were like, where? What do you mean, give your ideas away? We need to kind of go out there and get our own job. But it is my probably the, the, the best um, bit of advice you can give. Um, uh, this, 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 this book, I'm sure you all know it, if any of you have walked into a, um, any bookshop, it's all in the front, front table, but it is brilliant, and he says it, he says it best. Um, it's, 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 this, it's this thing of, like, if you hold tight to ideas, you will get stale, you know what I mean? If you, if you, um, if you put them out there, there's joy in just seeing anything that you have uh, come up with, become real and, you know, and, and become tangible, whether it's got your name against it or not. So, you know, I, mean, I, I really, really believe, believe that. It's true of then just being in this industry. Um, you know, I got in going right back to the, those book crits and, 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 and having people spare us the time to, to see us. And so, um, so that's what I do as well. And, and, it's, and it's so good. It's so good for me doing book crits for um, um, students because I get better and I this regenerate ideas in it and I see the response and the effect of that. So that's my um, email address. I'm not really on Twitter or anything. <laughs> so that's the only way you could, or you could send me a letter maybe, but anyway, uh, please feel free to email. Um, I'll do my best to get back to you. So in summary, this is it, uh, eight tips. Steal, don't care too much, cock up quickly, I accept you don't know what you're doing, get on with it, stop thinking, be the least Smartest person in the room, give your ideas away, uh, and you will get away with it, I promise you that. So get on with it. Thank you for having me.